Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. I have another Project Life Process video for you today. This one is week four from 2018. So like always, the first thing that I'm doing is putting my photos in place. And the one thing I wanted to make mention with this week is I took very little photos. In fact, those five photos that you are seeing, or at least the four by six photos, that's it. Those are the only photos that I took with my Canon camera. Normally I have I don't know, at least 50, if not more, um, photos from a, a given week. And then I have just a few from my phone. I really did not take very many photos at all. And I don't have a reason for it. I mean, it, I was a little bit of a harder week for me, but I don't know if that was why. I just, I don't know. I guess I wasn't feeling it and I never really pressure myself to do something that I don't want to do. So um, I don't, I didn't have a lot of photos from this week. So you'll see that I have two open four by six spots that I can then add something besides photos, which is actually really odd for me because normally I have plenty of photos for, to choose from. So I thought it would, you know, I thought it was actually kind of fun to have the option um, of being able to do something a little bit different. And by different, I mean like what, a story? Just having a journaling card to tell a story. But when I was thinking about what stories I wanted to tell from this week, I went back and I looked at my journal and kind of read through everything that went on. And it was just a few days prior. Uh, I was really thinking about what I would tell from this week. And the thing that kept coming back to my mind is maybe I would just do kind of one card for each person in our family and just write a little bit about what's going on, kind of like an update. Now, I've done this before in a week, it was in 2017, and I'll find that video, and I will link it below so that you can watch it if you want, or just see it. But I did the something very similar that I'm going to be doing today, which is one three by four card is going to be designated to each person in our family. And I'm just going to write a little bit about what's going on for each person. So that is my intention for this spread. So you might consider it a little bit kind of like a theme. A lot of times, you know, when people will do maybe like each card is designated to a day, like Monday is one card and Tuesday is one card. And you kind of write about what went on each day or maybe just write one story that happened each day. I'm, it's something very similar, but I'm instead of that, I'm just gonna do each person. So I'm gonna follow a similar format that I did before. And what I did before is I found a bunch of pattern papers and I added them to the card and I did an initial and then I did the journaling. And that's what I'm doing today. And that's what I was doing looking through all of my stash of cards. Now, the majority of these cards, I believe, are from Studio Calico kits, past kits. So any kit from January, you know, way back, I still have some cards from way back. And I was just going through and looking for colors that I liked, patterns that I liked, things that I thought would work together. Obviously the card, um, that four by six journaling card that I have there at the bottom, I think it says a story of love. That actually is from Allie Edwards from her um, Stories by the Month February kit. And because it's got pinks and yellows, I thought that that would be good to then maybe find some other cards with pinks and yellows. And I also like that card that says, you do you. And that was a uh, blue and green, kind of similar to the card I was just holding there with the plus sign. So that's what I was looking for when I was um, going through my stash of cards. I was just looking for pattern papers that I thought would work really well together. And now I've got my hole punch. This is, I think it's a three inch hole punch. I've had this for ever. In fact, it was actually really hard to punch. You, you, if you can see, I'm like having to use all of my weight just to get it down. And I think I need a new one. And I don't know, it's, it's cutting fine. It didn't rip any of the paper, but it was actually really hard to do. In fact, I have, I, I try using a four inch punch for the title card in this and you'll see it. And it has, it's a, the punch is designed differently and it's so much easier to punch out. So I'm considering maybe I need to upgrade my three inch punch, but for now it's still working and it's literally probably more than a decade old. So that's awesome when your supplies can last that long. 
All right, so now you can see that I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere all of these patterns onto um, the card, right onto some just white cardstock there. And then I, my intention then is to add an initial onto that cardstock, just so, you know, the A would be for me and the B would be for my daughter, Bella. Um, and then I could just do the journaling from there. So I really liked changing it up a bit and this time doing the half circle. I thought that that was really cute. I, I liked the change there instead of just having uh, rectangles of the pattern. So that's why I chose to do that. Now I'm just gonna put everything in place. You can see that as I'm putting these down, I'm you know, moving photos around and moving colors around and trying to figure out exactly how I want it to go. One of the other things that I'm looking at as I'm doing this, you can see that I have all of the pattern paper at the bottom. And at some point, probably in just a few seconds, I realized that I want to stagger those, uh, the pattern paper. So some are at the bottom and some are at the top, just to give a little more interest. So the thickers that I'm using for the initials, this came from American Crafts, and I bought them a long time ago. I think I bought it in 2014 because I was using it in my Project Life album that year. So I've had them quite a while, but if I can find them, I will link to them below, and if, if I can find something similar, I will definitely link to that. I liked that uh, they were small and that they had so many letters in them, which is why I bought I bought several packages because I wanted to use it throughout the entire year in uh, 2014. So I do have a ton of those to be able to play with. So now you can see that I'm just looking through my stash for one more card. I was actually looking for something very specific. So I remember when I looked at this pack before that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in a rainbow, I remember seeing that and I thought that that would go really great with this week as well. So I decided to pull that out. So I was just looking for that card. Now you can see that I'm going to stagger them. I really wanted them to be, um, I thought it added a, a lot more interest. So I definitely like it that way for sure. Glad that I decided to go ahead and do that. And now I was looking at the title card. I felt like that uh, four by six pattern with the plus signs, which I really love, just felt a little busy and I didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it so much. That card actually came also from the Stories by the Month kit from Allie Edwards. It was the February kit. So I, I love that pattern and I'm excited to be able to use that again. You can see I pull it over, but I don't actually end up using it. And what I'm trying to do here is um, mimic, mimic the circles that I've already punched. There's that four inch punch. It's either, maybe it's not four inches, maybe it's um, three and a half inches because it doesn't go all the way to the edge of that um, four by six card. But you can see that it was designed a little bit differently, so it was so much easier to punch down. So I'm just, look, you know, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to mimic those circles. And so that's why I just punched it out of white. I do like the smaller circle a little bit better. So I go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna pull over my um, Mega Date stamp, which I love. You know that I love this, although it's a little bit hard to use because now I'm having to change the month and the year and um, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit and I always kind of do, but I, I, um, one of the things that I do instead of using the little nozzles is kind of pull up on the rubber and that actually helps it to move a lot better. So if that's a problem for you, one of the other things that I've done also is just to get like a towel or a rag and use that. So I'm not like ripping up my fingers. So I'm using the Versafine black ink. Really love this ink because it prints or it stamps really crisp and awesome. And I'm just stamping the date, uh, both dates. I knew that the um, either the J or the eight would go off the edge just because it was a circle, but um, obviously it's not enough to bother me. I really like the way that turned out. I also wanted to add a little bit uh, something more. So I was looking at these um, hearts that came in Allie Edwards um, for the love story kit. I have yet to really use that kit, but I would, I would really like to. I didn't use it, it came out in December and I was just so focused on December daily that I never actually jumped into that kit. So um, I really want to 
use that coming up. So you can see that I just pulled out a, a blue heart. That blue heart actually goes really well with the pattern, the, the color you do you. Not that I'm always trying to be matchy, but it just so happens that it actually worked out. So you can see that I just went ahead and did all of the journaling. I just kind of skipped through it. Uh, one of the reasons why I held off putting on the rest of the initials is because I thought it would be hard to actually do the journaling and have um, the initials get in the way. You'll see as I'm writing through this journaling, I end up having to take off the the A because it's getting in my way and I felt like my writing was kind of getting sloppy because I was having to lift up my hand. And so I just took it off. Luckily, I was able to do that without like ripping any of the paper. And then you'll see that I'll just pull that back on uh, once I am finished doing the journaling and then I'll just pop that in. Really love the way that worked out. And I just love the option of taking a week and just um, instead of telling these very specific stories about what was going on with the week, telling very specific stories of what's going on with each person. Some of the things included what they were working on, like my daughter Bella, she got a job that week, so I wrote about that. I wrote about the competitions that she's doing, just all this stuff right now that is taking uh, up her time. Uh, so I'm jumping back to my title card and you can see like always, I'm adding a border around it. I just felt like it needed a little something. Again, like I always say, it, I just feel like it helps to really ground uh, ground that card stock to whatever you're adding it to. And I did also want it to be off the edge, so um, or to you know interact with the edge there. So then I just cut off the excess. And now I'm just going to add the heart right on there. You can see that I'm using tweezers for that. And I do that to help me place it. So when, when I just use my fingers, my fingers get in the way and I have no idea if it's straight or if it's centered or whatever. So that's why I use the tweezers there. And then you can see that I just wrote uh, one more story. This is a story about, um, again, my daughter Bella and some of her friends and experience that they had uh, that week. So I just wrote about that there. All right, so I am moving on to this last card. This is gonna be a three by four journaling card and it's gonna all be about the photo right to the left of it. I was thinking about doing the exact same thing that I had done with the other cards and punching out a half circle from this pattern paper. But ultimately, I decided to just do a rectangle. I didn't want to do something too similar because I wanted the other cards to kind of stand on their own. And so I just cut, or I just actually grabbed some of the three by four photos that I had pulled from before. That way I knew that they would go really well color-wise uh, with the rest of the spread. And I just went ahead and cut that card in half so it is two inches. And then I'm gonna be adding this chipboard on there. I think it says Wahoo. And it came from the Allie Edwards Story by the Month, their, her January kit. So if you are interested in looking at those kits, I've really been enjoying them. They are more seasonal, which I think is really awesome if you love that sort of a thing when you're doing your project life. All right, you guys, I am just about done, but I wanted to cut off this edge because the pattern paper did not meet up with the white cardstock underneath, and so I just wanted to cut that off. And now I'm at the end and I'm looking at my spread, which I always do. I always just kind of sit back and look at it. And there were two things that caught my attention. The first thing was I wanted this pattern paper to be a little bit thicker. And I, for, I don't know why, I think I thought that that two inches looked really close to the half circles and I wanted it to look different. And so I decided to cut out another piece of that um, pattern paper and then glue it on. So that ends up being three inches instead of um, the two inches. And I just pieced it together. Yes, in real life, you can see the line there. You can see the break. It's not that big of a deal. What I wish I had done is just left it because I didn't mind it. What I think was more of an issue for me or the thing that stood out to me the most is I wanted a little bit more black. And you can see that today's goals card, what a difference that makes when I add that there, it just really pops off the page. 
And because the dates on the title card are pretty bold and black and also the initials on each card, I thought that it would be good to add one more piece of black. And when I looked up, I saw this pad, this Today's Goals pad that came in Allie Edwards Story Kit Change. And you know what, I used it last week on week three, but that did not keep me from using it on this week. Uh, I really love this pad of paper and that, you know, repeating cards or repeating elements in my project life, even from week to week, does not bother me at all. I actually really like it. And I think that that card really adds. So I'm really glad that I made that change. So the last thing that I was trying to decide on before I completely finished was whether or not I wanted to add anything to the photos. And ultimately I decided not to, and just let the photos speak for themselves since I felt like there was just a lot going on in this spread. So I'm really glad that I kind of left those be this time. Anyway, you guys, I am completely done with this spread. Well, actually, one more thing. I am going to add the date to that card. But I really hope you're able to get some inspiration from this week and that you will try to uh, use some of your journaling cards to really highlight uh, someone or something from the week. I think it's a lot of fun when you can take one week out of your month and do a theme where all of the journaling cards go together. Anyway, you guys, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.